Let's tackle uh, procedure B, taste as a function of temperature. First part is to dry off the 250 to 300 milliliter beaker, the 100 and the 50 milliliter beaker um, until they're completely dry. So for the 250 to 300 milliliter beaker, just got a hand towel here and dry it off. And we know when it's completely dry because we recorded the mass of the completely dry beaker at the beginning of this. And so I'm just going to put it on the scale, see if it's exactly the same. It was 24.7 before. 24.8. Maybe there's a little bit of water still in there. We'll give it another shot. So again, 24.8, but I certainly don't see any water in there, so I'm going to go with it. And um, even though it's a little different, I'm going to just write 24.8 grams. Yep. Uh, and if it's plus or minus 0.1, it actually, that's about the limit of the scale, so you're fine. Let me dry off my other ones here. We don't have masses for those, but we're going to assume... that if we do the same procedure, we will be essentially in the same place as far as dryness. And that's a good point, because plus or minus 0.1, if you move the beaker around on the scale, you might even see it moves by 0.1 anyway. So, yep, it does. It moves actually 0.2, but now it's back to 24.8. Uh, record the mass. Then um, a place uh, approximately 6.85 grams of sucrose. I've got my little bag of sucrose here. And I have dried off my spoon in a similar way because you don't want to put a wet spoon into... Um, all right, so 6.8. All right, let me get my calculator here. So 24.8 plus 6.8. 8.5 is 31.65, so I'm going to go for 31.65 or 31.7. Went over. All right. So good thing I still have my waste speaker here. Still says waste, sort of. What was I shooting for? 31. Point 6.5, 31.7, now I'm low, right? We don't put it back in our sugar thing, we put it in the waste. It's a good procedure for chemistry. Thirty-one point six. Thirty-one point seven. Oops, I just put it back in there. I wasn't supposed to do that. Um, okay, so now we got 31.7, write that down and uh, take a picture of that. So that you can see the scale. Should be able to see the sugar as well. And then fill it up to 50 milliliters with our uh, deionized or a good tap water. 50 milliliters on here. And this part's approximate. And now stir it to dissolve. And again, this, this will take a minute. And not a New York minute. I still have chunks in the bottom, so go ahead, keep stirring. Try not to spill. I just had a drop come off, but I think everything's going to be fine. There's still some stuff down on the bottom, so make sure that you get it all. And sort of tilt it to the side, see if any floats to the bottom. Actually, I think the easiest part, the way to look through is from the top, so you can look through the water, not through the beaker.
Almost there. Nope, nothing but a couple bubbles. All right, so now I have, oh, I don't have, now the next step is to fill it up to 100 milliliters. And for this part, I am gonna be careful. You want to hit exactly the 100 milliliter line. And I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna leave it on, no. I should really take it off the scale. <clears throat> and I'm gonna fill it up to 100. Looks like I was right, pretty close to 50. Oh, and you can see some, um, Swirlies when you do that because the water is mixing with the sugar. And do your best to get it at 100. <clears throat> uh, it may, so it's not a precise measure using a beaker, but it will do more than well enough for us. And then you want to swirl it some more. And it should take no time at all to mix now. Okay. Got a tissue here, just gonna dry it off. And now the next step is to put uh, a third into each of your beakers. Your 50, your 100, and your 250. And this is approximate as well. I don't know, 20 plus, so 20-ish, 30-ish, 40-ish, somewhere. And uh, one of these, I'm going to put my 50 into the refrigerator. Uh, and then the other two, I'm just going to let sit here. I'm going to let the, the one in the refrigerator sit for an hour to come to temperature.